In today's video, we're gonna take a look at something a little bit different than what I usually do. Now I've done a lot of gaming related products on this channel, but I've never done a Pandora's box. And I wanna thank the folks at Ploy Lab for sending me this unit. And this one's currently right around $200, but I'll leave a link in the description below in case that price changes or if you want more information. So this version does include 3,003 games, which I don't know, that sounds like a lot of games. We'll see once we're actually using it, if it looks like that many games or if there's duplicates. I'm not sure what the case will be. Now the size on this is 64 by 22 and a half by six centimeters and it weighs in at 3,800 grams. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Inside the box, you're gonna get an instruction booklet They do include a USB 2.0 cable, flat HDMI cable, VGA adapter, power cable, which then plugs into this adapter. You do get a couple extra buttons. I'm not really sure what this is. Something tells me we'll find out a little bit later. As you can see, this thing does look pretty sweet with the Street Fighter look to it. Okay, so it looks pretty much like what it shows online. It definitely feels a little bit larger than I expected. On the bottom is basically a metal box with a really thick plexiglass type material where your controls are mounted to. And then on the bottom, you've got little plastic feet. So keep in mind, you can use this on a projector, monitor, or TV. This does have 2,989 2D games and 14 3D games. It does have 16 gigabytes of memory, a built-in speaker. Obviously, this is made for two players. It's using an H2 chip processor, H2A7 quad-core operation with turbo cooling. And it's gonna have a 1280 by 720 HD resolution. Like I said earlier, this is just plug and play. Okay, so the style of buttons here are a little bit different than on my arcade one up, but still feel pretty good. The sticks feel nice and clicky as you move them around, if that makes sense. On the back is your power switch, where you plug in the power adapter, and then your connections, such as the HDMI port, VGA, audio, and then you've got a volume control wheel, configure button, and then dual USB ports. And so yeah, this thing does have a little bit of weight to it, which is a good thing in my opinion. You don't want it moving around too much while you're playing. It does have a real thin plastic here on the top that you could probably leave on so you don't scratch it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And the graphics on here look really good in my opinion. Let's go ahead and get this connected and see what the software and games look like. So the first thing I did after playing a couple games was go into the settings and turn off the quality optimization because it doesn't look that great in my opinion. Now maybe if you're not close to the screen when playing it might be okay but I think it's just going to come down to personal preference on that. Cowabunga! Fire! Hang on April! Now I'll show you some footage of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the quality optimization turned on and off, but I'm sure it's kind of hard to tell from this video. I just know in my opinion, it looks better with it turned off. It just seems a little bit closer to the original. The good thing is you've got NBA Jam on here. Bad news is you can't actually play it. As you can see from this footage, it's sort of like playing at one frame rate per second. Seriously, it's that bad. Luckily, that was the only one I tested that was like that so far. Now 
Now probably the best part of this arcade is that it has one of the greatest arcade games of all time. WWF WrestleFest. Now the main reason I like this game so much is I remember playing it as a kid at a local laundromat and I just remember how exciting this game was. I remember it looking so realistic back then. It was like nothing I've ever seen before and I couldn't stop playing it. Now when they say there's 3,000 games on here, yeah, they weren't kidding. Sure, you're gonna have some duplicates here and there. And I did notice a couple of games that had the wrong game for the preview playing over on the side. But overall, this thing just about has every kind of game you would want. As far as the speaker goes, it's really loud on this thing. You can choose to turn the internal audio off and just use the audio from your TV or speakers or whatever you're using. Now, is it perfect audio quality on all games? No, but it's definitely good enough for me. Now, with this many games, the good thing is there's a search function if you need to quickly find a game instead of trying to cycle through all 3,000 games. Now, I'll also mention that it does allow you to connect certain controllers, and I did test it with my PS1 Classic controller since it is a USB controller, just to see if it would work. And yes, technically it does work, but basically only in the menu. Once you actually start the game up, I couldn't get it to do anything. But to tell you the truth, I'm not sure if I would want to use a controller on something like this, because I think it sort of defeats the purpose of buying an arcade style machine. But maybe that's just me. So my first impressions of this Pandora's Box 11 is it has a lot of good stuff going on here. And sure, it has a couple games that might not play that great, or the resolution may not look the best on some games. But overall, most of the games that I tested were just fine. So if you haven't tried one of these before, I think you'll really enjoy playing the games on here, especially since there's so many. However, I think the price point on this may be a little high for some people, but I would just watch for when they go on sale and I may just have to try another one of these in the future. Now the rest of the video, I'll just show you some more game footage so you can see what it looks like. Unfortunately, everything seems to be in widescreen mode, so unless I miss something, which is possible, since this is my first one, you're not able to change the aspect ratio.
So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.